We're going to try and understand the business process flow of securities as they are traded, uh, cleared and settled in today's financial market space. And in order to do this, uh, this diagram uh, summarizes the important players and their roles uh, within this context. Uh, let's uh, have a look here on the left where we have a an investor who wants to buy securities from the marketplace. Now their order is placed onto the exchange via an intermediary and this intermediary is uh, called a broker. Uh, the broker is a special entity that is authorized by the exchange to buy and sell securities on behalf of others and on behalf of itself. Uh, there are strict requirements to become a broker and there are all kinds of compliance to ensure that the broker is performing a, um, a good role for, on behalf of the investors. So once the order is placed onto the market via the broker, the exchange receives the, um, the, the, the buy order. Similarly, it receives sell orders onto the exchange in the same manner and throughout the day the exchange will be holding lists of buy and sell of different quantities of securities at different target prices and throughout the day it will attempt to perform automatic matching based on price, product, uh, quantity and so on and so forth. Now when it finds a match it will send back an order confirmation of the details back to the broker and uh, at this point the broker will forward those details back to the investor. Now this whole process uh, is uh, normally conducted in the front office and is uh, termed trade execution. So this whole cycle is the trade execution cycle. Now once the exchange has confirmed the trade it also uh, works hand in hand with the clearinghouse. Now, the clearinghouse is a special institution uh, that is introduced into the settlement cycle in order to safeguard the interests of buyer and seller. It effectively guarantees the trade on behalf of the buyer and seller and it becomes materially important for much larger quantities of trades where you may have uh, billions and billions of pounds that are being exchanged and are at risk at the same time. So the clearinghouse uh, at this moment in time actually uh, takes ownership of the trade and splits the trade into two separate trade legs. One leg um, is a, a buyer to the seller and the other leg is a seller to the buyer. And by doing this it legally transfers the title of the shares for that period of time uh, to the clearinghouse. Uh, this is purely to become a guarantor uh, for the safety of the investors. Now, um, whilst the, clear, the, the, the technical term, by the way, is novation, um, it's taking ownership of uh, the, 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 the trade um, uh, um, for a period of time. Now, um, throughout the trading day, there are a number of trades that are coming through from the exchange and the clearinghouse is responsible for performing netting. Now netting is where a number of trades with the same counterparty and the, and the same product can be grouped together and uh, uh, um, netted into a single transaction rather than multiple. So whilst it's performing the netting at the end of the day it will create one net figure for the settlement obligations uh, of that counterparty and it will send those settlement obligations through to the counterparty's um, nominated custodian or nostro agent if it's uh, for cash settlement. Now that concludes the responsibilities of the clearinghouse and the exchange and at this point the uh, the investor will have a, a trade which is locked in. Uh, in other words, it has been matched, it's been confirmed on the exchange, and it requires settlement. 
The settlement is normally t plus 2, so it has a um, two days in which to pay for the securities. Now, the safest way for payment of securities is delivery versus payment, uh, and this ensures that there is simultaneous payment of security in return for cash. Now, at this point, the uh, clearing agent has already had instructions from uh, the clearing house notifying it of pending settlement and now all it's waiting for is for the investor to submit their formal instruction to settle this transaction and when this happens uh, the payment must match the payment that is made at the custodian and the nostro and when this matches there is transfer of cash uh, from the custodian or the nostro agent uh, for security and the clearinghouse formally deregisters the buyer and re-registers the seller and that way the uh, security is kept in electronic bookkeeping form at the depository and that pretty much concludes the full settlement life cycle it starts off with the investor uh, taking a view on the market and placing an order onto the market via an intermediary otherwise known as the broker and the exchange performs a matching execution and settlement finding the best price on the market for that particular product and then the clearing which involves uh, ensuring that there is the correct computation according to netting um, and ensuring that settlement becomes the final part of the chain. Uh, the final part then the investor makes a payment to the nostril of the custodian and this completes the chain uh, of settlement. Now uh, we'll take a look in subsequent uh, um, tutorials how this would actually happen in practice with the uh, use of an efficient settlements system or settlements engine.